Right here, right now. First day of practice, Jacksonville State Volleyball. They get ready for the start of the 2018 season. New head coach and Todd Garvey taking over. I'm going to go back. You didn't really come in. I'm going to say June. I mean, it was into May when you got here, and with the tornado and everything, it's it's been a great indoctrination, I guess, for you to become a head coach. Hasn't uh, yeah, it? it has. It's been super busy um, with off the court stuff, just reordering gear and making sure everything's in line for the season to start. But we're, we can't wait. We can't wait. We're looking forward to it. Well, and you don't have a home, so to speak, Pete Matthews Coliseum. Still going through some some things, I guess the best way to put it. Uh, new floor down here at Kenimer Hall, and you you jump on it, you'll be the first person to use it. Now. Absolutely, it's amazing what they've done to this facility in the matter of a couple of months. I think the whole community and athletics program kind of came together, and we kind of see it as a positive thing. Like we're trying to tell the girls and make no excuses this year. We we're kind of dealt the hand that we're dealt, but we got to make the most of it, and we want to work hard every day and, and get better every day. Well, you come here, you were at Lipscomb up in Nashville last year. We are at Ohio and Purdue prior to that, and a, a long time in the high school ranks. Are you excited? First head coaching job in college? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the girls, although we couldn't work with them this summer, got a chance to get to know them off the court. And what a great group. Just a lot of really good people who are hungry to be good, and we can't wait for the season to get going. you got a nucleus coming back from last year's team that was a pretty good team. Absolutely. I think the seniors and, and some of the juniors have been great um, as far as letting me and my staff get acclimated to – kind of what it was like before and kind of, I guess, our vision for the future. And they've done a great job of helping the younger ones along. I know that, you know, that an old fellow that used to coach here, that you and Rick spent some time together. You know him very well. Is that how you learned about the job and, and interested in the position at Jacksonville State? It is. So I've known Rick for, for years. We're both from Louisville, and I know he did an amazing job when he was here at Jacksonville State and kind of always followed him along and the career along. And when the job came open, I know uh, it still means a lot to Rick for the program here to be successful, and that's one of the reasons that I was so interested in it is I, Rick's a good friend, and I want to see the program get back to where he wants it to be. So it's like a little extra motivation for me to try to get it there for him and for the past players that had it at a high level when they are here. And go back to the time that he was here, one of your players actually played here at Jacksonville State. Yeah, absolutely. So I coached um, Abby Veerling, who was a DS or libero here at Jacksonville State, and she played for me in high school at Mercy Academy. And then um, Abby Bright as well played uh, from in Louisville, so I know her and her family really well as well. New coaching staff, going to take a few days, I guess, for everybody to get used to each other and get – they learn your system and what you want from them and you learn more about them. Right? Exactly. So I told the girls that the first couple of days here is more – we're treating them more like a tryout than anything. We got to kind of see what everybody's strengths and weaknesses are and kind of see where we're at. And then after that, we'll kind of put together a game plan on um, how we get better from there. But for right now, we're trying to evaluate a lot and just kind of see where we're at at every position. Roughly two and a half weeks till you get going, isn't it? Yeah, it's a super short preseason this year. So we talked to them this morning about we can't have any wasted days. When they step in the gym, they got to be ready to go and be ready to go full speed. Two a days for the first week or so, is that what you'll do? Yeah, so we're basically going to do two a days for four days, take a day off, and then another four days. And then that last week, you're up to our opening weekend, we'll just do one day practices and get into our regular practices. Well, it'll be a, I know it's going to be a new system, but as far as learning for the girls is there going to be a lot for them to to have to get a grasp of in a short period of time i think so um there's definitely some new terminology and different play sets and stuff that will that will run that's new to them but i think that they're all been catching on great so far and it's just the first day so i think that there's no doubt in my mind that they'll get there before opening weekend you got as i said two and a half weeks are you already thinking about that first match and, and that first weekend in tournament play? Not yet, not yet. We talked this morning about I think that they got to get really good at living in the present, and we're worried about this next practice right now. And I think if we handle every day like that, just worrying about what's in front of us, then in, in two weeks we'll be ready. Um, but I think that we're just trying to focus on one point at a time, one day at a time, and kind of go from there. All right, I'm old. Forgive me if I can't remember here about what Labor Day weekend. Is that your first uh, home so event? Our, we'll be the 23rd and 24th is our okay. first weekend here at home we're hosting. Um, there'll be five teams in the event, and can't wait to get started. All right, man. Good luck. All Welcome right. to Jacksonville State. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Todd Garvey, new Jacksonville State volleyball coach. Again, the ladies start action here August 23rd right here at Kenimer Hall.